my mother was mentally strong enough to be able to play the mother of the year and show up the way that she knew society expected a mother to behave in public. Are you saying that in the moments that she was abusing me behind closed doors for nobody to see, those were her mentally weak moments? She made a choice to be the kind of mother that she was and wasn't. And as for me, it wasn't that I was so mentally strong. In fact, I was anything but. I'm mentally strong now. But when I was a 17-year-old mother, a 22-year-old mother, a 26-year-old mother, I have three children, I was a mess. I was an emotional mess. I was not mentally strong. I was going along to get along. I was a good mom because I loved my kids and because I wanted to make sure they never felt the things I felt in my childhood, but that wasn't because I was mentally strong. It's because I chose to do right instead of wrong and be consistent. And my mother chose to do right in front of an audience and wrong behind closed doors. When my youngest was born, I was on the brink of unaliving myself. That is not a mentally strong person. And because I wanted to be there for my children, not for me, I didn't count. I went into therapy and spent a good two and a half, almost three years there with medications and group therapy and the whole nine yards because I wanted to be there for my children and become mentally strong.